how are you going? I am doing this video just to give you an update what's happening and um, yeah our beautiful mum with the, uh, her child we're no further ahead um, and I am putting it out there to keep sending prayers her way because on the Friday it's got po postponed till Monday. So our prayers are working and let's keep postponing it because that is the strongest is our prayers out to her. So I can't thank you enough. Just keep doing it for her because honestly, there are many others that have actually uh, put their hand up as well. They're in the same boat. So let's band together for all these mothers and fathers that are in the same predicament because I know in my heart <clears throat> it's going to work out in the end. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, let's focus for Monday and send her massive love that it gets postponed for another month. The further out we can get it, the better, because yeah, I cannot find a lawyer that will represent her still. So yeah, obviously there's a bigger reason and a bigger... Thing going on here so keep sending those prayers another thing that's happening to me is I tracked um, my YouTube channel when I put that video up and I connected it and yeah I saw that I could feel people uh, connecting to the video and typing away their messages and then boom it stopped and yes it got help back and so i'm asking you there that the last four to six months i've had no subs new subscribers it has not moved apart from go down so oh it is so obvious that it is under control so i went in the background and the back end and i have now been uh they've taken away where you can actually go and see what countries are watching the videos, how many in each country, with a female, male, that's gone, completely gone. I went further deep end in there, and there was a gentleman's name that his name was in where it says, control the comments on the page. And I was like, who the hell is this guy? So I deleted so, and I've been told so many people are coming through, so and I can't write comments, I can't subscribe, I've been unsubscribed. There is total control over my page, so let's do this. Go subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe. Go and interfere with the algorithms on my page because it is under total control. Also know that, look in the comments down below, I also have set up a, um, a Rumble account. Because once this goes down, or it gets worse than what it is already, that's where I'll have to go. So you Because I know, oh my gosh, my Facebook is controlled, even um, a Telegram. People can't find me on that. My messages are going on my email. So yeah, hey, but I still stand. And, but your girl's back. And yeah, there's there's quite a few bits and pieces I wanna read out and then and I'll do another video and let's start pulling the cards because I am really gonna hammer this and I'm gonna stand and just keep standing to keep you guys going because it is getting so much closer to the end it's unbelievable so it's all positive there is nothing negative so hold your vibe strong go within and lift do not give in never give in we are all here together we are all fighting the good fight and we're doing it with pure love because it's the love and the connection between us all. We will get through this. So I am building a way and I just follow my heart and, and receive the guidance. Now, this was really interesting. Uh, I wrote down a few things here. And with the petrol going up, isn't 
that to encourage us to buy electrical cars as they are shutting down here in New Zealand our oil refinery Marsden Point we are a country of plenty so we have that but they're closing it down we grow our own timber and we are in short supply even right down to a toilet paper we've got our own company here and we we struggle to get that so we are a country of plenty and a supply of trees for our new build for our renovations we are now in limited supply so don't get me started about all the jib in this country because we do many renovations ourselves and we honestly that is like gold in this country now it's so hard to get your hands on and people that have got their hands on it are literally skyrocketing the price so what's really happening how many companies are going to go under when we have when we don't when we have enough trees in our own country or is it for a bigger picture so I've got some questions and what ifs, okay? What if the food that is in shortage at the moment are the companies that are part of this agenda and what they've been putting in, the products? What if this cleansing that we're doing and it's named under a virus is the poisons that are detoxing from our body. We're releasing it and adjusting and cleansing. When you come out the other end, there's a complete gratitude that you feel clearer, you can stand, you feel so much better. But you know you have shifted at a deeper level, also a spiritual level. Even to the ones that had that massive, massive pain in their head, their third eye is opening. It was blocked. The shivers, again, your detox in your body is lifting and clearing. You are on a higher frequency now. So I say it is a good thing, not a bad thing. What if we were told that it was bad to go through this? And it was more for the spiritual cleansing. What if now the spraying they are dropping above us is to clean up the land? from the previous dumping of the chemicals to poison us? What if the farmers could not sell their harvest because it was toxic and not suitable for consumption? Because I don't know how many people, many of you know that there is so much food that is going to waste. What if we change our thought patterns and believe this is all being carried out by the white hats under the disguise, but for a positive purpose? I don't know if you've heard internationally there is a shortage on baby formula. I want to put this to you as well. What if, with the baby formula shortage, could they be filled with the toxic carcinogens and hormone-altering substance? So the white hats have discarded this product or these products. So it's to stop our babies being affected. How many food suppliers have been destroyed overseas makes you think what if what if 
Okay, now see how I've got my hands. This one was really strong because as a healer, energetically, I connect with my hands. But as a Catholic, and I am no longer, I do not call myself one now, we were always programmed to go like this, to pray. That's how you pray. As a healer, and opening up to all the beautiful frequencies and the light and the incredible energy coming out there now. What if we were told to go like this, to shut down our energy points from my hands as a healer, why aren't we going like this and connecting in? When the amount of energy that comes out of our hands it's the most natural thing is to go like this with the hands going up. But what if we were told to go like this? What does that do? Shut us down. Where do we put our hands? We don't pray like that. We do it right here in our heart chakra. So we are actually blocking the connection with our hands and blocking the transmission also from our heart chakra when we send out that prayer. So it is nowhere as strong. What if we go like this? Connect out to source. Send the energy of our request out and it will go even further because we are open to put it out there and open to receive. When we go like that, we are blocking, shutting down, and disconnecting from our heart source. Makes you think, because it's automatic to go like that. And we know what the churches are about. So, yeah, that's just something that's come through really strong. So, there's just something I want to read to you. The Awoken Ones, are we transmitted to bring in this new awakening? That is going to happen and is already happening. It's coming to that time. Things need to start changing. Uh, because more of the normies are carrying on as everything is normal now. To follow instructions for good behavior bonds. It's amazing how we are witnessing our loved ones. Are moving further and further away from us now. Since they have had two or three of the juice in their arm. So if they don't change it up very shortly, it's going to be much harder to bring them out of their slumber. There are a few things that may simultaneously roll out and radiate on all levels, depending on what timeline they are resonating on. You can imagine how entrenched asleep some people you know are. Have you ever wondered why you see, you seek the truth of what's all of this about? The truth resonates on a higher frequency, and that is what you have been drawn to, the higher frequencies. Rather than resonating in the lower slumber of being complete asleep to what really is happening around us. Well, you know what the black hats are putting everything into completeness to go out with a bang. You also know that the white hats are in control and they are ending this and it's already happened. Hence why I can only resonate to the end result of the positive ending. So with saying this, be prepared for any surprise that will be presented to us in the coming weeks. Let's look at it, that if we are all energy resonating on frequencies, wouldn't it make sense to use it in this way and awaken the people? How about an electromagnetic wave on the high frequencies that will get penetrated throughout the world at the same time so no one gets missed out? This is why it will automatically shift people up and as you won't even know, what is really happening to yourself. You've heard of the alien invasion that they keep telling us about. 
and the emergency message coming on in our phones. Well, we actually got a message to say that uh, I think it's this week, end of this, sorry, end of the next week coming through on our 20th or 21st, we've been notified that we're going to get the emergency test just to make sure. So that's really positive. If they're testing that out here in New Zealand, hands up. Who, what other countries have got that message to say? Or you've already had that test. It's getting closer, that's why. Who really knows? But I want to rest assure you that you are going to be perfectly okay. You have been processing so much of what's really been going on for such a long time now. And some are only at the beginning. But you're awake is the main thing. Each one of you had been placed where you needed to be to go through some life skills to prepare you for this time. Everything has been a blessing. And when you let go of your struggles within is when you are yourself giving permission to resonate into the higher frequencies. As in turn, it's going to be that it is going to be needed to help you and your fellow brothers and sisters out. As much as you can't wait to say, I told you so, you can't. As you have moved past that point, you were a victim in your previous lifetime and maybe many times this time, you were determined you were never going to play that victim role again. You have broken yourself out of the matrix to be where you are at these times. Our world is going to be of plenty. And I still see that. I still connect and I go out there and I have a look for us. And honestly, it is there. It is resonating. And you must be picking up a lot more now. Do not fall into the slumber of this depressive state that everybody else is in. Okay, whenever you feel you're down, you know that is an indication you need to lift yourself back up. Now, this is a really interesting sign. It's the upside down. I'm just going to get a piece of paper. Just... this triangle that is them at the top and we're at the bottom okay because there's more of us than them but we are now we have flipped it and now we have dropped them to the bottom and we are at the top. You can see it, okay? So at first they represented it. We have flipped that triangle, okay? So there they were at the top and now we've flipped the triangle and they are facing down because they're going down. So no, that's what this is representing. You can certainly feel the change up. It's getting closer and closer. Well, the ones that are deserving as are trying to push everything through as they know they're all going down. The light is shining bright now, so help harness it in as they will all be burned by this incredible light of pure love. Switch yourself to see. People in authority don't look the same anymore as they have either been switched or someone's playing that role. Hollywood is a ghost town and again, they're trying hard to fool people with the new doubles and clones. When you can see it, you cannot unsee it. Look at all the CEOs worldwide who have resigned. Some great possibilities, one that are in investing into assets. And of these companies, 
that have been part of this evil part of our society. The world is dead and is going to be rebirthed the most incredible energy of life that is wanting to come through. So prepare yourself as soon as it's going to be time to buckle in and put your seatbelt on. As we're about to go on the most incredible trip to put on at the end, to put an end to all of this. So stay positive and help pull it in. May is our growth month and get comfortable with the uncomfortable side of yourself because you'll be purging out old hurts, old pain that is coming through. Your back will be adjusting. There is so much that you will purge out. You will lose your, lose your confidence. You'll feel your anxiety. Your depression will come to a head. But you take every day as a new day because you are getting through this. No matter what, you are strong and you have got this because you never want to take that shit with you on your new higher frequencies. So let go of it. Go through it because it's that that's going to help heal you. Your cells and your DNA is getting activated and it's part of our evolution. Our cells need to activate to absorb the light, which will naturally evolve into the 12 strands. When our cells are activating and waking up, you will know this is happening because you would have noticed you don't resonate with certain people anymore. You are drawn to the higher frequency souls now. We are upgrading to be of higher states of consciousness. So experience the shadow work to feel the negative as you need to go through it to experience the triggers so you can acknowledge to shift it. This is how we upgrade ourselves. So everyone has to go through it. We're awakening to our mission here on earth in this avatar body of ours. So your avatar needs to do a major cleanse and clearing of yourself. As the light codes are coming through and you are wanting to soak them up. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with this and I'm going to uh, do a reading on another video and let's see what the cards have got to say because we're doing this. This is incredible and honestly, don't let yourself down because we're all in this together. So I love you. Go and subscribe, unsubscribe, scribe, unsubscribe. Let's stuff up the algorithms because they've totally got my page totally under control. So let's uncontrol them. And at least we're all going to do our part. So thank you so much. And yeah, and so many prayers out to that mum and the child on Monday. And let's see if we can shift that energy. Because if we can help them, we can help all the other parents that are in the same boat. Love you guys. Thank you.